Hey, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I had a little extra time today. Um, I've been doing some recording, but I had my acoustic out, and it's extremely hot in our house, so I thought, what the heck, I would show you a little bit about how to play uh, Wild World. It, I, I'm actually rehearsing with my daughter to get ready for a show that we've got coming up, and one of the songs we're going to be doing is Wild World. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to show it to you, just because there's so many really neat things in here. Now, remember, as I'm showing you this, um, you might do things differently than I'm doing it, and and that's okay. So if you've learned this song and you go, hey, that's not exactly how I play that, or I was looking at the tab, I always try and readjust songs so I, I remember that I don't have multi-track or another guitar player or anything like that. It's just me. So I try and sort of add everything that I possibly can into the song so when somebody's listening, they don't notice that something is missing, okay? So that's the most important thing for me is making sure that uh, when I'm playing it, it sounds right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you how the basic outline goes. Okay? So, hey, everybody. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be looking at the chords. Let's just look at the chords, and then we'll go through all the other things. So we're going to start off by looking at a D minor chord. Now, what makes this really neat is you're going to be doing a D minor, and then you're going to switch over to a G7. So when you make this D minor, what I want you to do is instead of making it with your first, second, and third fingers like you might normally, what I want you to do is make it with your first, your middle, and your pinky, so your third finger is free. So you're going to strum that D minor, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the middle finger off the guitar, and you're going to head up to the note G with your ring finger. So that's the next chord we're going to play. So it's going to sound like this. So we're getting that melody in there. Okay. Okay. Now again, you can watch the video as many times as you need to to kind of get this, but let me just sort of show you what's going on here. And again, I know it's impromptu, so you might not have your guitar with, but you've got D minor. Then moving up to this G. So I've got this one down here uh, with my first finger and the three with my pinky. I take that middle finger off, head up here to G. Then what I'm going to do is just head over to a normal C chord. Then I'm going to go to this F by taking these two fingers and moving them down one string. So I'm not pressing on the first string. I've got three, two, one, zero. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bar over that first string so I get this. So there's my melody again. So I'm going from this F major 7 is what it's called to this, to this F, and then back. So let me put those together so you can hear what this sounds like. Here we go to the G, C, which is just normal. Here comes that F. Okay. Then we're going to move over to a B flat major 7, which means we're going to bar over the bottom five strings on the first fret. We're going to take the third and the pinky. We're going to place those on, the pinky's going to go on the second string, third fret, and the ring finger is going to go on the fourth string, uh, third fret. And then my middle finger has to go on the third string, second fret. So it's making a little triangle there, okay, or a reverse, if you think of it like a D7, if you know that. And then I got my bar here. It's a really pretty sounding chord. So now let me put it again together. I don't mean to take too much of your time, but I want to show you how this works. So we're going from D minor, head up to that G, C, F, add, now to that B major, uh, B flat major seven. Then we want to add the melody again. So I'm going to do this. What I'm doing there is actually making a G minor chord, but I'm not making the entire chord. I'm just going to press on the second, third, and fourth strings with my first finger. And it's okay if I touch the other strings around it. It doesn't hurt. But those are the ones I'm going to strum. Then I'm going to take my ring finger, place it on the fourth string, fifth fret. So if you think about it, it's the middle of this G minor bar chord. That's what I'm doing. So I'm playing five, three, three, essentially, is what I'm doing there. Okay, and then I'm going to add my pinky on the uh, fifth fret of the second string like this. So again, I'm adding that melody in. Okay, now when I look over here, it's because I see the screen. Hey, everybody. Uh, perfect. Okay, 
So I, I'm live right now, so I'm just checking the chat, make sure everybody can hear me okay, and it looks like you can, which is awesome. So I'm going D minor, up to that G, C, the F major seven, add B flat major seven, then move over to the G, the G minor is what that is. But again, I'm only strumming these three strings. And then I'm gonna go to an A7. And A7 is just an A major chord without the middle note. So I'm pressing on the second and fourth strings on the second fret there. And then what I do is I go, and I just move that up from two to three to five. Kind of like an, uh, I think it was Brother by Alice in Chains that does that same sort of thing. So I'm going. Okay, so let me play it at normal speed so you can see this now. Okay, so that's how that part goes every single time. Now the other thing I want you to think about is the strumming where I have this. Now again, you can adjust it however you need, but that's the basic idea is this. Now let me put the two together so you can hear this. So if you think about that rhythm a little bit and how I'm moving the chords. So again, not to waste your time, I wanna to get to the next part here. So I'm gonna keep going through this over and over and over, and then I have a transition at the very end where I go to that A7. When we are gonna move into the chorus, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go right from this A7 back to the C. So let me play it for you so you can hear how that transition sounds. Here it is. Okay, now we gotta get going right after this because there's this cool little walk down that we do, this, um, this double stop thing that we're doing here. That happens right afterwards, so you don't have a lot of time. You're gonna be coming from. What ha what's, what I'm doing there is I'm going to the eighth fret of the first string and the ninth fret of the third string and I'm deadening out the second string. So you just hear those two. And then I'm using my first and second, you can see that there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over, I'm gonna go to the sevens, but when I go to those, I'm playing my middle finger up on the, sec on the third string and my third finger on the first string. So I have. See, so I've got. Sorry, I'm telling you wrong here. It's eight and nine. Then I move down a whole step to six and seven. Then I flip over for the fives and the threes. So you have two of this shape and then two of this shape. And you're always on the first and third strings deadening out the second string in between. So this one I just strum once and then this one, sorry, I keep doing it. There we go, so three times, three times, three times, okay? So let me play that for you so you can hear what that sounds like. So I'm coming from. Okay. And that leads us into the chorus. Now the chords for the chorus are just gonna be F, C, however you like to play C, and B flat. Okay, and then it's C, B flat again, and then F. So let me just strum that. And again, if you'd rather play C here or whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna show you how I play it and why I play it that way, but it's going F, C, B flat, then C, B flat, F. So it sounds like this. Flat, F. 
That's all it is, okay? Now, the reason I play it this way, I'm gonna play F here, and then I play C as a bar chord right here, and then I actually play B flat instead of moving down here, okay? I stay here and I just flip over and I play five, three, three, three. And the reason I do this is because I like to play the little run, that little thing. And when I'm down here, it means I gotta jump up and do this. If I, if I play B flat right here, I don't have to move anywhere, I'm already there. So it's, it's just a small thing that I do, you don't have to do it that way, but let me show you what I do. So I'm going F, C, B flat flipped over like this. Then I can just go into, and let me show you what that is. I'm going six, five, three on the second string, uh, five, three, two, on the third string, and then five, three, on the fourth string. So I'm using my pinky, my third, my first, pinky, middle, first, and then pinky, middle. Okay, and again, finger it however you need to to make it comfortable, so here we go. And I flip over, so I'm already there, so I just have to drop down to do that. Now you could play it, like this, then just move up. Nothing wrong with that either. It's just I've found it more comfortable. I can look at my my um, audience and I don't have to to move down so much. So that's the only reason I'm playing it there. And then right after that, I got to head back to the C B flat F like I did before, right? So C. And then I've got this little lick that I play. Okay. And all I'm doing there is going, again, you could make up anything, any cool little bluesy lick. But that's what I tend to play. I'm going one, one, and then I slide from three to five, and then three here. And then I just walk back five, three, five, three. So it sounds like this. Here we go. Now to give myself a second when I'm switching, you'll notice that sometimes I just play the bass note first and then I play the rest of the chord. So watch this. Here we go. Now watch right here. See, I go to that C first because I gotta get ready. I gotta get my bar chord ready and I'm already moving. So I'll usually do something like that. Watch this, I do the same thing here. You see, because I'm, I'm in the middle of playing that lick, so I don't want to go and like rush into it. And again, it doesn't matter. It's just, I'm just showing you why I do what I do. So, um, cool. Looks like that's making sense to everybody. So again, that's really the entire song is just doing those parts, but there's a lot of really neat stuff going. Now, I used to play D minor up here and all kinds of different things, but I found that this is really good for keeping the melody going. But again, if there's something else that you like more, by all means, try whatever it is that you like and figure out what works best for you. Just, and I know I, we've talked about this before in other videos and things like that, and you might have seen something, but I always encourage you, I don't care if you're learning from a video or you're learning from Tab or you're learning from a teacher or a friend, don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you do something a little bit different than the instruction tells you. The goal with all of us is just to try and make the song sound as good as we can. And that has, you know, partly due to playing the song correctly as best we can, but partly the way that we execute the song makes a huge difference too, right? So if I was just doing... There's nothing wrong with that. Those are the chords to the song. So, um, but for me, I like to play it with that melody in there. So if you look and you go, oh, well, you know, I learned how to play it with just bar chords or something, that's okay. I mean, whatever works for you, as long as you're having fun with it. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. 
Uh, it's a really fun song. It's worth checking out. Um, and remember, if you're looking for any kind of guitar instruction stuff, you can always find me over at guitarzoom.com and uh, find me on Facebook, of course, and we can always chat about things. So have a wonderful day. Take care. Stay positive and keep practicing. And don't, don't get too frustrated. Take a break every once in a while if you need to uh, to continue on and just go from there. So take care, everybody.